My GP has explained to me what HbA1c is. Uh, it's basically an average measure of your blood glucose levels over the previous 10 to 12 weeks. And it's very important to have that um, test having diabetes because it actually gives you that average and it gives you a better clinical picture of your ups and downs over that time period rather than just testing yourself every day, which only gives you um, an idea of what your blood glucose is at that very minute that you're testing. So it's a more accurate measure to have your HbA1c tested. I normally test it twice a year. I know I should get it done every three months, but I actually have a total fear of needles. So for me to have my blood done, it's a really scary thing for me, and I know I do have to have it done more often. Um, but I'm very happy with my results the last time I had it done a few weeks ago. So I think from now on I will continue to have it done every three months because my levels were actually down to 6.3, which is the lowest they've ever been since my diagnosis over eight years ago. So in terms of my diabetes management, the HbA1c has been really important for my doctor because at one stage he actually took me off my medication because my levels were actually quite stable. But in the end, the HbA1c also um, made, he made the decision to put me back on my medication because I'm taking so many other meds. Um, I've got asthma particularly, and I have to take a lot of steroids for that. And I know that actually pushes up my blood glucose levels very high when I'm on the steroids. And sometimes it can take a few months for that to come down to normal. So I've got to balance my other meds with everything else that I'm doing. So when my levels get higher, then I have to adjust my medication. Having the HbA1c test regularly has been really helpful to me in terms of my diabetes management, because depending on whether it goes higher or lower, then you can um, have a plan with your GP or your other healthcare provider, and they can actually adjust your medication or the type of food you're eating or your exercise levels uh, to get that back into range. So I would recommend that everybody has that test uh, every three months.